Faranaya is the brainchild of the Presbyterian Agri Station in Garu, commonly called Pass Garu. Faranaya is a Mampurili statement, which literally translates into English as End to Poverty or Poverty has ended. It is a program that is based on the cooperative agribusiness model. Solomon Atiga is the program manager of Pass Garu. Presby Agri Station in Garu is I would say 51 years old, began in 1967 when the Dutch missionaries came to Ghana and needed, and the people needed support from them. So they brought a technical person to support the farmers. And so the acquisition was officially opened. The first uh, director actually came from Holland. His name is Karel Richters. He arrived in 1964. And in 1967, it was not necessary to open the station. And since then, the station has been uh, working with farmers, working with communities, working with small farmer holders to increase uh, incomes, to improve livelihoods. And so the mission of the station is improving livelihoods, food security, income security, agricultural advisory services. So that is what we have been doing and somewhere along the line it was found out that it's not enough to produce, farming to produce because producing without the relevant market creates a, a lot of problems. In natural fact, bumper harvest will be followed by misery, very low prices. So they start, the stations started to engage in supporting farmers to have markets for their, for their produce. And uh, this is what eventually led to the formation of Faranaya Agribusiness. The Agri Agri-Services uh, became a technical service provider for training farmers in the Walla Walla area. And NIDA, Millennium Development Authority, they sponsored that project, and at the end of the training, it was decided to form a company, and NIDA uh, ably supported the agricultural agri services from Faranaya. The rationale behind the formation of Faranaya is to support farmers access markets for their produce, thereby increase value whatever they produce, increase their incomes, and make them food secure and income secure. Faranaya was incorporated in 2010 with 70% shares by the Predator Agri Services, and farmers have 30% share. These are farmer groups, small farmer groups, that come together to work and an income. Pranaya aggregates uh, sugar. Pranaya is currently the highest supplier of sugar in this country. Uh, we supply the neighborhood of 4,500 tons. We are hoping to increase this to 6,000 next year and ultimately to 10,000 metric tons per hour. We are currently working with about 2,500 farmers and uh, we, are, we are trusting and working towards increasing this to 4,000 farmers uh, so that many more farmers will be covered. Uh, there will be household food security. This will happen with the support of another partner called Agden, which is providing funding for Paranaya to expand coverage from uh, working with three districts to our six districts and to increase the number of farmers we are working with from uh, about 2,500 to 4,000 uh, and then to improve yields 
which is now lingering between 500 600 uh, kilo, kilograms per acre. We want to increase it to 900 kilograms per acre by the end of the project. The Agricultural Advisory Services, which Pass Garu offers to its core of smallholder farmers, is rooted in the organization's overarching goal to see farmers benefit directly from their labor. Right from their briefing sessions to field visits, Pass Garu staff put welfare of farmers at the center of their activities. We are trying to address the issue of poverty reduction and as a result trying to improve the income levels of the smallholder farmers. This goes a long way to suggest that for farmers to increase their yield, it will translate into increased incomes. Pass Garu not only provides field support to the farmers, but also ensures that they provide them with high yielding and resistant strains of sorghum. We have Dorado, which is commonly cultivated or grown here. And then the new variety, chromatin, which we are now trying to see how good or efficient it will be in terms of yield and the resistance to other factors like pests and then diseases. Faranaya operates a very streamlined value chain system. From the farm, farmers bring their produce to the warehouse. Paz Garu's warehouse manager explains how the process works. Uh, here is a Faranaya warehouse, mainly uh, we are into sorghum uh, business and we receive sorghum from our farmers and from market mobilizers. We receive it here as a raw material and then we process it and dispatch it to Guinness Ghana Limited Commercial. We receive the raw material into the warehouse and then we weigh it there. After we finish weighing, then we bring it into the cleaning machine room. Today we can clean about 1,100 uh, mini bags. The machine can do more than that, but the reason is that the space is limited. It's, the space is not much. So normally we adjust, we, we clean, and then we show it, we pack, and then we restart the start again. And that is why we, in a day, we only clean about 1,100 meters. Oranaya's impact in the lives of farmers has been enormous. These farmers are now able to live very dignified lives through their association with Faranaya. Their food and income security has been boosted with many escaping the cycle of poverty. <laughs> Fertilizer. So now you 
two times. Mm. Ama for ton use in a man. Palanila, Nikako, Rega, Nanga Sumatiba. Pass Garu has effectively been a positive force in the lives of smallholder farmers through Faranaya. The effect of their support to the farmers has not only served to empower them and their families but has also brought about a development in the local economy through increased incomes.